Nolan here, and today we will be playing Fran Bow. This is actually a very interesting game to me from what I have seen, and I haven't seen very much because when it came out a while ago, I want to say a few months at least, it was just a demo. Now, it's f the full game is available on Steam, so naturally I wanted to play it. So, we shall be playing it. And you shall be enjoying it, hopefully. So, here we go. I really don't know anything about the game besides this little girl that you play has some issues mentally. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. That's not creepy. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. What severed head is in that basket? Oh, it's a cat, okay. It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. You're gonna name it Midnight, aren't you? It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. That's, that's both sweet and sad. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. This isn't gonna end well. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. That kind of... Yeah, that kind of rhymed. But something feels really bad. Something about bad, yeah. A strange creature outside my window. Satan! I don't like it. It scares me. I don't blame you. Suddenly I hear something. Voices of the damned. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. That's a bad idea. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Yeah, see, not good, like I said. Mom, Dad. Very not good. Please don't. Oh, definitely not good. Mommy? Daddy? Yeah, they're dead. They're very dead. That's very dead. Jesus. Figures in dark robes, never a good thing. Especially after Satan killed your parents. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. Oh, okay, so this is like hypnosis. One, two, anytime you want to say three, that'll be good. Oh, hello. Three. Okay. Fran, how do you feel? You know what? I'm gonna give this guy a British accent because he looks British. And uh, this is what's what I want to do. So, hmm, I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. Uh, well, you just watched your parents. Well, you, you walked up on your parents' death, basically. So, I would assume... Do I have to... Alright, how do I do this? There we go, okay. Sorry. I was clicking it wrong. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. 
My parents are dead, asshole! Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. With these drugs! Uh, better? Then let me go. That would be better. You should not tell me how to do my job. <laughs> I suppose you're kind of right about that, but hey. But now I have something for you, Fran. I don't think I'm doing a very good British impression, I'm sorry. Normally I can do much better. What is it? Oh, really? That sounds more sarcastic, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. Oh, great, what's in that little package? It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Alright. Oh, okay, I'm playing now. Ooh, severed hand is a pointer. Yes, that's... That's... Aesthetically pleasing. Excuse you! This was my mother's purse. Okay, so that's like my inventory bag, I assume? Open it! There's something inside. I don't like the way you said that. No! Uh, oh, examine. Please, thank you. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking of, about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Okay, so I can, like, make tools or something. So, I hope you'll enjoy keeping... Er, oh, excuse me. So, I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and grace. Hey, and grace. Get me out of here. How about that? She is worried about you. I wonder why. I'm in a mental institution here, I assume. <laughs> I'm worried too. Because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it. You are out of control, young lady. I don't like this doctor very much. <laughs> Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medication. What was my old medication doing? <laughs> no more medication! I don't want to try more medicine. It's called... Duotine. And it will make you feel very relaxed, so like Valium. Nurse, we're ready. Hey, no, no, no. Don't, hey, 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 hey. Get back there. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Dearn. I'm gonna go with that. Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Well, I hate to be so nonchalant about this. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. Uh, how about no? Fine. All right, how how's how we doing? Should be some sort of side effects, I assume. I don't feel good. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be a problem. That yeah, just oh, just a little problem though. That wasn't weird. Normal side effect. Oh no, take her back to her room. Yeah, that's what's best. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Okay, so what? Uh, she was a guinea pig for this new medication? That, that's great. That's nice. Beware, friend, Bo. Beware what? If you leave the house of madness. Get that finger away from me! I will hunt you down. Catch you. Eat your soul. And bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. 
who is in it to can. The medication will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. It is a cat saying that, isn't it? It's Binks! No. I love you. Oh, It's probably the only one who loves me in this goddamn place. Ah. My Sober Day, Chapter 1. Alright then. Interesting beginning. <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture of a clown. Uh, stop. Ronald McDonald there. Should I be doing anything? Should be. Oh, hello. Good morning. Uh, I'm still here, hideous place. It's not exactly pleasant, though. I have to get out of here. Alright, that. Ooh, nice. Like the eyeballs. Those are nice. Case br <coughs> Fran Bo Dagen Hart. Dagen Dog Dagen Hart. Age ten. She's only ten. All right then. History: The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo or Bo Dagen Hart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1944. Alright then. Well, yeah, I mean, if the, if the medication is causing little lucid visions like that, I wouldn't want to take it either. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Touché. Touché. What about this creepy fucker over here? I will get your nose! I will get it! Okay. That's, that's cool. Locked! Good reason to get curious. I agree with this as well. So I need to find a key for that. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Mm, red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Okay, so that's, I am assuming, Fran, her cat, Mr. Midnight, and the pills. So I need to find the pills as well. I hate the monster. Again, you mean Satan? I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Okay. So, the medication reveals... things. Hi, how are you doing? You look... great. You look great. Hello, Phil. Hello. Uh... how are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. Well, no offense, dude, but y you look sick. In some way. Uh, uh, they're just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Hopefully. Uh, I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. Makes sense. There's a key inside. The key. Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. Mm-hmm. A secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Well, shh. I won't tell anybody. Who? Him. Who's him? Okay! All doors are closed, you are a prisoner of my games. Back the fuck up, Satan. And nobody will help you escape. Go back into the portal of hell, thank you. Well then, leave me alone, I hate you. Okay. Alrighty then, okay. 
Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Oh, okay, I, I'm clicking on these stuff things, but she was talking to herself, or in her mind. Never mind, I know what's going on. Totally, totally. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I hope somebody loves you. Alright, wasn't here. Oh, oh, hey, a secret box. Shh. Shh. Um, examine? Oh, I'm sorry, did I not click on it? Excuse me. A little box, it's open. Okay, cool, no key to find then. Oh, because it's holding a key, excellent. We found the key. All right. Hello. Oh, wooden horse, or wooden Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? I don't think it's having a good time. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? I can't argue with that logic. <coughs> Case. <coughs> Fillmore Bronstone. Age 8. Male. Very good then. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy, you could call him Phil, has developed a paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Okay. Treatment. Daily treatment with Mr. Marcel Duren. Is he the only doctor around here? You have not achieved, or we have not achieved the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. I don't blame him. Uh, don't blame him. People around here, freaking bizarre. And I'm assuming this is locked. Yeah, of course it's locked. All right, let's go back over here, cause we got a key, which could be a key to this, maybe. Maybe. Locked. Good reason to be here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, how about this? Use on this. Aha! And there is something inside. What would that be? I shall examine this photo, please. Thank you. Okay. So, that's her dad. That's her mom. And that's her aunt, I'm assuming. My god, she looks creepy in that picture, though. Holy shit. And a bobby pin. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. with, um, no, that's, okay, never mind. I assumed I should put it in her hair, but I, I guess not. I guess not. Okay, cool. Whoops. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Okay, I got a hook. Cool. Cool. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Alrighty then, there's a searchlight there. Spotlight. There's a gate. Tower defense! We have for you a crazy person called Fran. <laughs> or is it defense tower? Mm, I guess that is my. That, what? I don't think my head would fit through the window. I agree with you there. At least you're, you're um, self aware of that. Alright, okay. Uh, so we can look out the window now, yay! Uh, uh, uh. Um, okay, that's about all the time I have right now. Uh, still looks like a very interesting game. I'm actually looking forward to playing it more, and it's, I, uh, it looks like one of those games where you have to kind of like solve puzzles and search around for just the right thing, but that's okay. Still looks very interesting, very fun, uh, and I hope that you guys will be enjoying this. I know we're just getting into it, but that's okay. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please help me out by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more, because I will be continuing to play this video, or this game, in parts. And... Leave a comment down below telling me what you think about the game so far. Maybe a little early to make a judgment call, but let me know. And I will see you guys later.
Hitler. Okay. Sounded like furniture, maybe? Did I, look? Did I move that chair? No? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Still beating cough. 